my besties, my amores, good evening. The power of pleasant words. A reflection on Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Welcome back, okay, to my vlog, okay, TSMA, my pangalians. Today, we will embark on a journey to explore the profound wisdom, okay, found in Proverbs 16, verse 24. Okay, so this verse reminds us of the incredible power, okay, and impact that our words can have on others. So join me as we delve into the significance of pleasant words, okay, their healing properties and the lessons we can learn, okay, from this timeless biblical wisdom. So in Proverbs, okay, chapter 16, verse 24, pleasant words are as a honeycomb, okay, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. So in this proverb, okay, King Solomon beautifully illustrates, okay, the power of pleasant words. He compares them to a honeycomb, emphasizing their ability, okay, to bring sweetness and healing, okay, to our souls. So the bodies, okay, just as honey is a delightful and nourishing food, okay, kind and gracious words have the same effect on our well-being. So my best is the lessons from the proverb, okay, the impact of our words, okay, the proverb highlights the profound impact our words can have on others. So our speech, okay, has the potential to uplift, encourage, okay, and bring healing to those who hear it. So on the other hand, my best is our words, okay, can also wound, discourage, and bring harm. It is crucial, okay, to be mindful of the power of our words, okay, and choose them wisely. Example, in the book of Proverbs, we find numerous verses, okay, emphasizing the importance of our speech. So in the book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, it states, there is one whose rash words are like sword trust okay but the tongue okay the tongue of the wise brings healing so our words my best is have the power to either pierce like a sword or bring healing and restoration so kindness and encouragement the proverb okay highlights the importance of using our words to promote health and well-being okay by speaking with kindness offering wise counsel okay and providing gentle comfort okay we can positively impact the lives of those around us so my epangelians my best is pleasant words okay have the ability to uplift and bring joy to the soul okay so proverbs 15 verse 23 says to make an apt answer is a joy to a man and a word in season how good it is wise and timely words have the ability to bring joy okay and comfort to those who hear them so my best is by choosing our words carefully we can be a source of encouragement okay and support to others salt and seasoning so just as a pinch of salt enhances the flavor of a dish a balanced approach to our speech okay is necessary so while it is crucial to speak truthfully and honestly okay we should remember my best is my pangolians to season our words with grace and kindness so our words should be a reflection of god's love and character okay so another verse colossians chapter 4 verse 6 advises let your speech always be gracious seasoned with salt so that you may know how you ought to answer each person so our words my best is should be marked by grace and kindness making them like attractive and palatable okay to others so by speaking with love and understanding we can impact lives and build meaningful relationships all right so the sweetness of god's word hmm. The comparison between pleasant words and honey, okay, 
highlights the sweetness and nourishment found in God's word. Okay, that's it. So, just as honey is a delight, okay, to the taste buds, God's word brings joy, wisdom, and understanding, and also healing to our souls. So, example, um, Psalm 19 verse 10 declares, more to be desired, okay, are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. All right, that's it. So the psalmist beautifully describes the sweetness and desirability of God's word. So when we speak in alignment with God's word, our words become a source of a spiritual nourishment. Mm and encouragement all right my best is all right so as we conclude okay our reflection on proverbs chapter 16 verse 24 let us remember the profound impact our words okay can have on others so just as honey okay brings sweetness and healing our pleasant words can uplift and nourish the souls of those around us so let us strive to choose our words wisely, reflecting God's love, grace, and wisdom in all our interactions. So, my best is my Pangilians, may we be mindful, okay, of the impact our words can have and use them to bring joy, healing, and encouragement to others, okay? So, may our words be as sweet as honey, okay? reflecting the goodness of our heavenly father so let us be agents of positive change through our words bringing honor and glory to his name let's pray my besties my pangilians dear heavenly father we come before you today recognizing the power of our words okay and the impact they can have on others help us to be mindful of the way we speak that our words may promote um, healing, Lord, health, and encouragement. Grant us, Lord, to choose our words wisely, using them to uplift and build others up. So, Lord, just as honey is a gift from, from your creation, Lord, may our words be also a gift to those around us. So, fill our hearts, Lord with kindness compassion understanding so so that our speech our own speech okay may reflect your love and grace father god in moments when our words may be tempted to wound or harm please father god remind us to pause and seek your guidance help us also lord to be agents of healing and and restoration bringing sweetness lord and joy to the lives of others we thank you, Lord, for um, for the beautiful gift, okay, and the ability to use words to express our love, our sincerity, our wisdom, and truth. May our words always honor you and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 So my best is my Amaris, my Pangilians. Okay, thank you all so much for joining me today. On this journey of reflection and discovery, may the power of pleasant words, okay, guide our interactions, okay, and transform, okay, our relationships. So until next time, okay, may your words be a source of blessing and encouragement, okay, to all those you encounter.